You've heard the endless warnings. Economic inequality is growing and will continue to grow. But the question almost no one asks is, who cares? And it's an important question. Economic inequality has nothing to do with poverty. In some countries, people are relatively equal and extremely poor. In other countries like the United States, people are relatively unequal, yet the vast majority are, by world standards, extremely rich. Inequality just means that there's a gap between what people earn, and that gap can grow even if every single individual is becoming better off. And that's really the story of capitalism. Economic progress makes us all better off, just at different rates. But today's inequality critics ignore this point. Instead, they've smuggled into the discussion a perspective on wealth that tacitly assumes that economic inequality is unjust, that gaps are unfair. I call these the fixed pie assumption and the group pie assumption. The inequality critics often speak of economic success as if it were a fixed sum game. There's only so much wealth to go around, and so inequality amounts to proof that someone has gained at someone else's expense. What this ignores is the fact of production. If the pie is constantly expanding because people are constantly creating more wealth, then one person's gain doesn't have to come at anyone else's expense. What about the group pie assumption? In a famous speech on inequality, President Obama said, the top 10% no longer takes in one third of our income, it now takes half. This sort of phraseology assumes that wealth is a social pie created by society as a whole and then has to be divided up fairly with every member of the group getting an equal share. But wealth is not actually a pie belonging to the nation as a whole. It consists of particular values created by particular individuals and belonging to those particular individuals. Wealth is not distributed by society. It's produced and traded by the people who create it. To distribute it, society would first have to seize it from the people who created it. But how is that fair? It's true, economic inequality can emerge from injustices, like when Bernie Madoff swindles billions of dollars from people, or a business gets a special favor from Washington. But the problem there is not inequality, it's the injustices. We wouldn't celebrate Bernie Madoff had his crimes decreased inequality. So who cares about economic inequality? I don't, and you shouldn't either.